Meanwhile, the Joint Health Sector Union Johesso has said it will embark on an indefinite strike starting from midnight on Thursday, May 25th, following the failure of government to meet its demands. This comes just one day after Johesso organized a rally to the National Assembly to make their case before the legislators. In a letter dated midnight, the leadership of Johesu issued a 15-day ultimatum to the federal government over alleged inconsistencies of the government in the ongoing negotiations to adjust the consolidated health salary structures for health workers on their platforms. Johesu demands the following. One, immediate approval and implementation of the technical committee report on cohes adjustment by the federal government two immediate payment of the omission and shortfall in the covid-19 hazard inducement allowance of affected health workers in the federal health institutions as, recog as recognition of health workers in non core hospital facilities in the payment of the new hazard allowance Three, payment and inclusion of peculiar allowance to health workers under the ages of Joesu and APA. Four, immediate and unconditional implementation of the pharmacy consultant KEDA of status. Five, unconditional payment of all withheld salaries of Federal Medical Center Oweri. Jute University Hospital, loot and uh, the April and May 2018 salaries of members of Norfolk Azari that we are withheld. Six, speedy implementation of the increase in retirement age from 60 to 65 years and 70 years for consultants in the health profession. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.